Hello everybody, welcome to computerhandle.com, indeed the last lecture of this chapter. So we've done all of the concepts, in fact the major ones in flowchart, which are also included in multiple examination syllabuses, all right. Then we have uh, done a revision lecture on it, and then we've, we've, uh, we've practiced flowcharts with five examples, three from the easy category and two from the medium category, all right. Now you might be thinking, you might have not been mastered flowcharts yet. Well, I'm gonna tell you there is no need. As I told you in the beginning of the series, that flowchart is just the first step. And indeed, the step with most limited functionalities to create your final program. The main thing which is gonna have multiple functionalities, or in fact, any possible functionality is pseudocode. All right, and then of course, from pseudocode, we'll have the programming language. More like building a house, you see, you can't just put on bricks at a random place and say, oh, my house is made. Well, you have to have a blueprint here. So in this case of a program, this is a blueprint. All right, then after the blueprint, we need the prototype, that prototype, of course, that little model, miniature model, of course, that could be in a 3D CAD software, it can also be physical. That would be this prototype. All right, and then we're going to implement it in the real, all right, so implementation. More like constructing a house, you see. So, the real thing computerhandle.com was made for was to help people understand this so heavily that we've got how many? One, two, three, four, nearly five chapters on this. And just a single chapter on this. And another chapter on something with external. All right. And in the future, if computerhandle.com continues, we may even include one to two chapters on this. But we, are not, we have no plans for that yet. All right. Um, in case you're wondering, you can visit the website and see available chapters. So... Computerhandle.com was made mainly for this part. But to understand this part, you had to have understand this part. And that is what this first chapter was made for. So in the next multiple chapters, we're going to start off with pseudocode. And then, if possible, for Computerhandle.com and our team, we're going to expand our knowledge and our teaching towards a programming language. All right, the programming language we'll use is most likely to be chosen yet if we proceed on with this plan, but this is what we have so far. All right, and to give you an idea what pseudocode is, it's sort of the prototype of what we've done right here. This is the blueprint, and we're going to write it in the form as this program, sort of more like a programming language format, but on paper. All right, and then it can be converted into an actual programming language, slightly more advanced and lengthy. All right, because it uses basic English. All right, but depending on the language you use, programming language, you may have multiple and different um, uh, syntax for multiple languages. For example, the syntax for language C++ and the syntax for Python, language Python, are completely the opposite of each other. And JavaScript is just a third world on its own. So better to understand this first, we have to understand this, which is just understandable in English. Or like the e syntax is more like to English. All right, and of course this is done on a computer. So to repeat myself, computerhandle.com was made for the prototype part. So creating a program is more like a constructing a house. All right. We've got the blueprint first, the flowchart in this case, and we've got the prototype, the 3D CAD model in the software, or in fact, the hardware, which we've got right here. And then we've got the implementation, which is the programming language. The syntax and the programming language may vary, which is why we have the basic English in a slightly shortened version, which we're going to focus on in the next coming chapters. And ladies and gentlemen, and following students, this is where our chapter one ends. Thank you very much for viewing this chapter. Thank you very much for viewing computerhandle.com and hope to see you soon on chapter two. Take care.